It's great to be here in Michigan and, uh, and uh, with the uh, United Auto Workers. You know, uh, I, uh, as they say in parts of my state, I got brung up on General Motors. Um, my father uh, was uh, ran a General Motors agency. He didn't uh, he didn't own it, but he ran it. And uh, I, uh, you know, I cars are cars are cars. And by the way, I still have my '67 Corvette. Uh, that's new. That was new. I still keep that. But I got to tell you, I'm waiting for that electric one you just all made that goes 210 miles an hour. But that's a different story. Look, early this week, uh, and the reason we're a little bit late here, uh, we found as I was getting off the plane, the press asked me a legitimate question that I did not have the background on because it occurred on the plane. Earlier this week, we celebrated Labor Day, and here in the heart of the American uh, automobile industry. Uh, we never forget everything that we owe the unions. And unions, as you've heard me say many times, built this country. Unions built the economy, the economic engine that has driven American manufacturing dynamism. Uh, and uh, and literally, uh, literally, in the case of the auto workers, you're the ones that did it. So I want to thank you again, UAW Region 1, for hosting me today.